Welcome to the Registered Investment Advisor Podcast, where financial services marketing expert Seth Green interviews experts, executives, and top producers to share can't-miss tips on how they successfully manage their financial service firms, grow their businesses, create great relationships, and influence the industry. And now, here's your host, Seth Green. Welcome to the podcast. This is your host, Seth Green. Today, I've got the good fortune to be joined by Matt Page, a partner at Lucas Group Financial Planners. Matt, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Let's go back in time just a little bit. How'd you get started in the business? Yeah, so uh, going all the way back to high school, I actually took an economics course, and that really got me interested in finance and econ. I decided when I went to the University of Oregon to study business, and I uh, majored in finance and a minor in economics. Uh, during that time, I had a summer internship at a municipal bond firm in San Francisco, and they had this really nice uh, suite on the top floor and a building right on the Embarcadero, and I thought, well, this is kind of a cool place to work. So I decided when I went back for my sophomore year to see what I could find in Little Eugene, Oregon, Uh, in this industry. And as it turned out, there was a Morgan Stanley office in town, and they were looking for someone to work for free. And uh, I was gladly willing to trade my time uh, with them. So I ended up getting an internship, was there for the remainder of my college years. Eventually, I did get paid for that time and worked for an advisor who actually had established his practice down in the Bay Area, not far from where I grew up. And so we had a lot of common connections, and that was during the dot-com boom era. So we went from about a oh, eight or nine advisor firm to a 50 advisor firm within the matter of a couple of years. Back then, Morgan Stanley was doing a lot of IPOs, and pretty much they would hire anybody that could fog a mirror to be an advisor. Uh, when the time came to decide to stay in Eugene and w- stay with this gentleman or move on, I decided to move on. I actually got out of the industry for a few years. Ended up moving to Sacramento in the early 2000s, knew I wanted to get back in this industry, but did not want to work for a large brokerage firm. So I started with an independent firm here in town. I was with them for about six years as a pair planner, moved on to another firm. I was there more in a hybrid role, so bringing on some business, but also supporting the owner. And then from there, I had built a book of business, which fortunately I was able to bring with me. And I brought that to my current firm, Lucas Group Financial Planners, about eight years ago. Uh, I was here for about a year before I became a partner. I always recommend it's great to uh, test drive the car before you buy it. And that's certainly what my partner and I did. And so all these years later, I'm I'm a partner and it's been a great experience. Awesome. And I'm sure the longer version of that story could be in a book somewhere if it isn't already. Um, (laughs) Talk a a little bit about the origin of uh, Lucas. Yeah, so Greg started in this business over 40 years ago. He is uh, from the area here in Sacramento. He went to UC Davis. He started because it was the early 80s. Everybody was working on commission back then. Uh, So he started working for somebody, uh, quickly realized he needed a way to make a commission payment. So he started, you know, go out there meeting clients, um, selling products. And from there, he grew this practice. Uh, He joined up with a couple other advisors at different times throughout his career. Uh, And then one of the guys that he was working with retired. And so he was able to take over a portion of his book. Uh, And this was going back about 20 years or so ago. All right. And uh, who is an ideal client for you now? Yeah, so we love to work with uh, all sorts of different folks. Quite frankly, you know, we don't have one specific niche per se. Sacramento is a government town. Uh, So there's a lot of doctors, lawyers, and lobbyists in this town. So we tend to work with folks who are either preparing for retirement or going into retirement or just recently retired. But we have clients all the way from their early 30s to their late 90s and everything in between. We really are working with that millionaire next door type of client. Absolutely. So what are some of the biggest challenges you're finding them facing that you're helping with? Well, certainly right now with the markets misbehaving, everybody's been concerned about what that means for their retirement. So folks that are getting close to retirement, they're concerned whether or not they're going to be able to retire, how much they can spend in retirement, and those types of things. Uh, But mostly overall, generally clients have a lot of the same concerns. They just want to know that their money is going to be okay, that they're financially secure, and for their loved ones, they want to know that they're going to be okay as well. 
you know, we have some certainly really high net worth clients that are talking about legacy planning and making sure that the kids are still motivated enough to go to work someday. But for the bulk of our clients that kind of mass middle of our book of business, really, we're just trying to make sure that they understand that they're financially secure and can enjoy retirement. One thing is, you know, we do find that some clients think retirement's like a four letter word, right? I'm sure you've seen this and they're not quite sure. Maybe they understand financially they can retire and we help show that to them. But there's a lot of times bigger questions that linger in their mind that keep them from retirement. And that's really like, what is retirement? What does that look like to them? What does it look like to their spouse? What are they going to be doing with all this free time? And so we really try to help dig down. Once the financial stuff's been taken care of, we really try to dig down with these clients and help them better understand what retirement could look like to them. We make we, What we like to say to our clients is that retirement is making work optional so that, yes, you could retire if you want to, but if you want to continue working, that's fine too. You're not doing it for financial reasons. You're doing it for other reasons. That makes a lot of sense. How are those clients finding you? Really through our existing clients. Uh, the majority of our business comes through referrals from existing clients. We work with some CPAs and estate planning attorneys in town who also refer us some business. Uh, back when I was starting in Sacramento, I did do a lot of work with 401k plans. So we do have quite a number of 401k uh, uh, partners that we're working with. Uh, so third-party administrators send us business. Occasionally, clients find us through our website, uh, but really the, our best clients seem to be coming from referrals from very happy clients that we already have. And that obviously speaks volumes to the job you're doing, that they're happy enough to refer. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, I always say that we should be focused on service first every day. So when we're looking at what we're doing on a daily basis, if we just really simplify it and look through that lens, is this helping improve our service to our clients? Are we servicing clients during the day? Uh, that really seems to sit well with our clients. And because we're spending so much time focusing on servicing our clients, they tend to be very happy and stay around. That's definitely a plus. Talk a little bit about the team at Lucas. So right now there's my partner, Greg Lucas, and myself. We have another advisor, Todd Hadley, who has a tax practice that's completely separate. So throughout his tax business, occasionally he bumps into clients that want to do financial planning and perhaps even some wealth management. So we help him with those financial plans and wealth management. And then we have three staff. We have Laura Job, uh, Matt Jude, and Paula. And the, Paula is our newest. She's an intern. She's here part-time. Uh, Matt and Laura are full-time. Laura's been with the firm for over 11 years, and Matt's been with us for about six years. So just like our clients, our staff tends to stick around as well. And that speaks volumes to the culture and the environment that you've created, that they take such pleasure in their work. They keep sticking around. So congratulations on that as well. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? Well, I know this can sound a little cliche, but it really is helping people. Some of the conversations that I have with clients are just very rewarding because there's the clients come to us with an anxiety, especially new clients, right? I mean, they're literally trusting us with their life savings that it's taken decades to build. So we take that very seriously. And we want to help them understand that whatever their goals may be, whether it's saving for college for a, a, a child or a grandchild or saving for retirement or whatever the goals they may be, we're going to do a deep dive on what those goals are and where they are today and tell them, yes, you're on track to meet these goals or no, you're not on track, but here's what we need to do in order to get you on track for the, meeting these goals. And that is really a rewarding conversation I have. I mean, I go home happy after a day at work because I've had to have some of these really rewarding uh, conversations with clients. And after doing this for over 20 plus years, it still feels great to be able to tell somebody, look, you're on track. Work's going to be optional when it, you want it to be optional. And just to see the relief in their face. In fact, when we're do, presenting a financial plan to a new client, especially, a lot of times we'll start off by giving them the punchline immediately. You know, they don't want to sit here for an hour before I tell them that they can retire. The first thing I'm going to tell them is, yes, you can retire. And you will just see the release of stress in their face. And, and quite frankly, from that point on, they're opening to listening to, to us. You know, if they're sitting here for an hour just going, gosh, I wish the guy's going to tell me if I can retire or not. They're not hearing anything else you say. Absolutely. Well, 
Um, we know your time is incredibly valuable. We greatly appreciate you sharing some of it with us. What are um, some of your favorite books or resources that have helped you on your career? Yeah, I mean, quite frankly, uh, so I'm a, a history nerd, so I like to read history books and not just finance related, but I've got a whole like bookcase right here of, of books. So I've got uh, the Investor Manifesto, William Bernstein, he's got some great things. The Intelligent Asset Allocator, this is another good one. Questions Great Financial Advisors Ask, and this has been really helpful too, as I've been developing uh, my script over the years with, with talking with clients. But right now I'm actually reading a history book uh, about Isaac Newton. So <laughs> kind of across the board as far as my reading goes. Awesome. Well, for our folks who want to read up and learn more about all things Matt and Lucas Planners, where should we send them? Well, you can certainly check us out at Lucas Group Financial Planners. Um, you can email me at matt at lucasplanners.com. And if you want my phone number, it's 916-921-9220. Well, we greatly appreciate that. Um, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks, everybody, for watching or listening. We will talk to you or see you next time.